Very confident going into this one after that split decision. I'm curious, how much did you study what Adesanya didn't do against Jan Bojovic? You know, they keep asking me, asking me this question. You know, I'm a very different fighter than Jan Blahovic, but definitely that fight was the confirmation of a lot of things that I already knew. This guy's nothing special. I'm going to go out there and just put it on him like I did it with, the, with his, all these other guys and just dominate from, from the first second. You know, from the get-go, I'm going to be looking like I'm the champion, you know, and I'll, be, and I'll definitely be champion by the end of the fight. You know, the narrative uh, coming out of your first fight with Israel Adesanya was that if there had been a fourth round, it might have started to look a lot like the third round that you had against Israel. And coupled again with, you know, what Dan just said about his fight with Jan, how confident are you coming into this fight that this fight is going to look a lot different than your first fight with Izzy? Very confident. I'm going to smash this guy, man. This guy has nothing for me. He's, he's going to be so frustrated from the get-go that he's not going to be able to do nothing to me. And then he's going to do mistakes, and I'm going to capitalize on those mistakes. I'm very confident going into this fight. Before we started talking to you, we were talking a little bit about your evolution, and I thought it was interesting at the press conference yesterday when you said that Izzy has gotten sharper, but he hasn't necessarily evolved. And I was wondering if you could just kind of elaborate on that, because we certainly see the evolutions in your game. Yeah, what do you see him doing different than he's, he's always been doing? He does nothing different. He does what well, I'm saying. He might have got sharper. He might have gotten sharper, sharper on the things that we, that he's always done. But he didn't add nothing. His game is always the same. That's what I'm saying. And uh, when they talk about me, they're so off track. And I love that. I don't even want to, you know, I don't want to even tip them, give them tips on on how they should think because you know they're gonna find out in the cage. Marvin, you fought Kevin Holland just nine weeks ago. Um, to me, I felt like that was a blessing in disguise to be able to get that fight with a guy who is long and rangy and, and can fight from a distance. What did you take away from that fight fighting him? Yes and no, because, man, Kevin Holland is just a weird guy, and he doesn't play by the rules at all. So it was actually like, yes, good, you know, he's an orthodox guy with, like, a very long reach. But, you know, it's it's really, it's it, it's a very different game than, than, than Israel has. But, you know, still, man, you know, like, I knew going in, I have to stick to the fundamentals. I'm just a superior fighter. I can mix it up better. I have the more complete uh, skill set, and there's nothing that, there's nobody that can match that. Now, you are by far one of the most intense guys in all of MMA. I remember when you were fighting Carl Roberson, and he pulled out of the fight. You were still in the dressing room working out, still mad at him. Where does this intensity come from? I'm, I'm business, man. This, this, you know, I, this is my life. I, I don't play with this shit. That's why you don't see me like... <clears throat> If it's outside or things like this, you know, like when it gets like in those situations where I can't get pulled from the fight and things like this, I'm not going to risk it. You know, you're not going to see me punching the guy in the, in the press conference or things like this. But like I want to eat him with my eyes when I see him. I want to I want to look through his soul and just eat him like just like like tame this motherfucker. Like that's what I want to do. I want to eat him alive. <laughs> oh, Marvin. We talk to a lot of fighters who fight for their countries and they want to be the first champion. What does it mean to potentially be the first Italian champion? Everything, man. Like, I've been doing this for me, for my family, and, and, and for my country. Like, you know, like, I was saying, you know, oh, how many people, you know, people ask me how many you want to prove, you want to uh, prove people uh, wrong, but it's actually about proving people right. Like, all the people that have been supporting me all, throughout these years, like, that's what I want to, that, that's why I do it the most. Like, you know, my mom, like, I, lo I, I left my family all for this, you know, and it's been years and years and years of hard training, like, uh, and, 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 like, blood and tears that, you know, I have to, I have to make it all worth it. And uh, this, tomorrow is the day that I make it all worth it for, you know? Absolutely, Marvin. And, you know, we've seen some bad blood in the UFC. We see it all the time. But there seems to be something about Adesanya to you that you just can't stand. We talked to you in the meetings and asked, you know, w will it be all hashed out after this fight? And you were a little reluctant. Like, listen, yeah, it's, it's going to be no bad blood, but I'm still not going to be that guy's buddy. What is it exactly about oh. Adesanya that drives you so crazy? 
He's it's fake. It, it doesn't drive me crazy. It's just fake. He's just a fake guy. I, I don't like fakeness. There's too much fakeness, fakeness in this war nowadays. I don't stand. I, I stand by the opposite. I stand for the opposite values. Like, this is fake. He be, he believed into his own like, into his all into his own fake story, and he, he he's all he's all he's all character. His own story is fake. Mm. Everything that about him is fake, you know, and I, I can't stand that. Marvin Vittori, nothing fake about you, my friend. Uh, the real one. Looking forward to seeing you fight. Good luck. Get, um, uh, get some liquids in you, buddy. Thank you very much.